So we come now to the very last day in our study in the book of Acts. It's been a really incredible journey to take together through this book, uh, the book of the uh, uh, rendering of the narrative of the earliest uh, iteration of the church, figuring out what it meant to be church and following the Spirit in a brand new time and place for them, even as we are following the Spirit in a brand new time and place for us, uh, figuring out what it means to be a faithful uh, group of Christ followers in an age when we are separated by a pandemic, when we are pulled apart by the uh, uh, continual enactment of uh, white supremacist values and, and violence in our country. Uh, I hope that this has been a rich journey for you. It certainly has been for me. And when we come to this last text, it's important to see that what we are seeing in this last passage in the book of Acts is Paul in prison. Paul is in a prison house where he is receiving people who come to him for teaching and for fellowship. Uh, the the uh, story of the earliest Christian disciples are, uh, uh, or is a story of the faithfulness of people uh, following Christ being bound up with an empire that is intent on incarceration and violence against the bodies of the multitudes uh, in the empire. I think this is a particularly important thing for us to get as we, uh, as we leave the book of Acts today and to understand our responsibility in being bound up with people who are experiencing the brunt of our own empire's uh, incarceration and uh, militarized police violence that we're seeing right now. Willie Jennings, who's been our constant companion throughout this uh, study uh, with his uh, commentary on Acts, which I would recommend to anyone. It's a very accessible commentary. And I think you've seen, as I've shared throughout, uh, the uh, pertinence of his uh, wisdom in helping us look at the book of Acts uh, in relation to the context in which we live now in terms of uh, our uh, dissociation from the uh, world, the environment uh, in which we are bound up, our continued uh, racial, uh, violence and inequities, uh, our relationship to empire. Uh, Willie Jennings is an incredible scholar whose work has enriched our time here uh, for the last couple of months. And I want to end uh, our time uh, studying this text with a quote from Willie Jennings. Jennings says, how might we live together in a life that shares all things, hopes all things, and overcomes the hatred that permeates this world. This question points to the constant search for a beloved community, an alternative communal living space that pushes against economic and social configurations destructive to life. If that question uh, isn't pertinent to us right now, we are not attending to what is happening around us and what the book of Acts is calling us uh, into as a community continually being birthed by the Spirit. Um, Willie Jennings ends his commentary with a very brief reflection on the things that surprised him as he got into the book of Acts. I'm not going to tell you what those things are. If you want to uh, if you want to read those things, I would encourage you to take a look at his commentary. But what I want to do is use Willie Jennings' own way of ending his study in the book of Acts to end our study here by asking you to reflect today on what has surprised you in this couple of months of reading in the book of Acts that we've done together. What surprised you in the sense of something that you learned that you didn't know before? What surprised you uh, in the way of helping you to see something happening in our world today in light of the good news being uh, upheld in the, in the book of Acts? What surprised you in the sense of uh, how the Spirit is moving in your life right now, calling you, prompting you, pushing you, pulling you in ways that perhaps you didn't anticipate when we started this book and when we started, you know, a couple of months ago into this time of, uh, of dealing with a pandemic that has now erupted into a time of reckoning with our history of racial violence. So I would love to hear from you. If you would email me those things, 
Uh, and if you would allow me to share them with others, please put that in the email too. But email me at pastor at oldcambridgebaptist.org and let me know what has surprised you, uh, where you have sensed the Spirit moving in surprising ways as you have read this book of Acts. I'm so thankful for this time that we've shared together every day for the last many weeks. Uh, and I look forward to our next theological adventure together, whatever that may be. Take care.